Merry Christmas and welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat, and this is your 12 Days of Google Christmas. So the 11th most popular Google search about a biblical topic this year, 2019, is what is reality? The Bible has quite a lot to say about what reality is and what the nature of reality is, but to get us started, I want to say that the only way to live a stable, fruitful, and healthy life is to have a good view of what is real, not living in a fantasy world. Scripture gives us a true and reliable picture of what is true about life as a whole. See, the Bible itself actually offers reality, not spiritual platitudes or pithy little sayings. Romans 8 actually talks about this specifically. I consider that our present sufferings are not worthy to be compared with the glory that we reveal in us, for the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subject to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from that bondage of decay and brought into the freedom and glory of the children of God. We show that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to this present time. Not only so, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. For hope that is seen is not hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. You see, the Bible is full of all types of hardship. Paul here is talking about the groaning of his spirit as he waits for this next step, realizing that reality is not all rainbows and happy handshakes, right? It's so much more than that. It's so much deeper than that. And it's not always easy. Now, this leads us right into one of the most misused verses of the entire Bible, Romans 8, 28. It says, in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. A lot of people want to twist this to say that everything God does leads towards good things or my perception of what good things are. Nay, I want to say that God is at work in midst all things, which means every chapter of your life, God is working through. That does not mean that every bit of your life is full of rainbows and large bank accounts. You see, reality is that God wants you to live a full life, all the ups, all the downs, all the happiness, and all the sorrows. Well, Merry Christmas. I'll see you right back here tomorrow for, for Google search number 10.